I am Dr. N.K. Venkatramana, Neurosurgeon, uh, Brains Super Speciality Hospital. Brains Super Speciality Hospital has an exclusive clinic for multiple sclerosis. Though it is a, a medical disease, this requires a comprehensive care. Recently, it has been identified that multiple sclerosis is because of autoimmunity and it can get triggered by several factors like diet, allergy, infection and trauma and many other precipitating factors including COVID. Now, when we say multiple sclerosis, what happens is the immune system misbehaves and turns against its own host and thereby certain nerves will get affected and they lose its coating, what we call as demyelination. When the coating goes off on the nerve, the nerve will not function. You see them suddenly complaining of a lot of pain, paresthesias and getting paralyzed within no time. And there is a lot of difference between paralysis from the stroke and paralysis from the demyelination. Paralysis from the stroke is due to loss of blood supply. Whereas here, nerve is normal, blood supply is normal, but because it loses coating, it doesn't work. So, one of the responsibilities is that when you do a scan, wherever the coating is lost, it all looks like multiple patches. And this is why it's called multiple sclerosis. It can occur multiple times. It can affect multiple parts of the brain or the spine or the small brain, I call it cerebellum. Each time it can affect the same part or a different part, coming with sudden loss of vision, sudden loss of balance, sudden loss of uh, walking, control of uh, uh, bladder. Uh, and paralysis of the legs. So, it can come with different different problems at different times and it quite often affects very young people, it is quite disabling and depressing for them. It is mandatory that we identify systematically all the underlying causes such as genetic defects, autoimmune diseases. Now, whereas there is a battery of tests which can identify a variety of autoimmune conditions within the body and we have to identify other associated medical problems, other precipitating factors. We need to control all of them in addition to treating them in the acute phase to stop the damage and to promote the recovery as much as possible and see that it does not happen again and again as a preventive measure. So, when you com provide completely a, a comprehensive care under one roof, majority of them do well and moreover, it is important that we need to keep the positive note and motivation and a good amount of rehabilitation to all these people to be as independent as possible.